Ginger Studio, Jellyfish, makes waves with its official stable release. This release includes cutting-edge AI features like Gemini and Android Studio, seamless Google services integration like Android device streaming, and much more, designed to supercharge your Android development and help you build high-quality apps. Let's dive into the most exciting changes in store for this release. Android Studio Jellyfish includes the IntelliJ 2023.3 platform release, which has many new features such as comprehensive support for the latest Java 21 programming language, an intuitive floating toolbar with editing actions, ROM to cursor inlay option in the debugger, and a host of new improvements to speed up your workflow. Our updates in Jellyfish continue to demonstrate our commitment to quality and stability of Android Studio, with over 900 bugs addressed during this release. Android Studio Jellyfish helps you build apps faster and easier with new features to help you develop, debug, and optimize more effectively. Gemini in Android Studio is an AI-powered coding assistant which can be accessed directly in the IDE. It can accelerate your ability to develop high-quality Android app faster. Gemini can generate code for your app, provide complex AI code completions, answer your questions, expand errors from build and lockhat, find relevant resources, use smart actions, and more, all without having ever to leave Android Studio. With all of these AI features, you ultimately have control of what you share and don't share with AI privacy controls built right into Android Studio. To provide you with more precise control over the permissions you grant for specific features, the new sign-in flow in Android Studio Jellyfish lets you select only the Google service integrations you want to enable. This means you can decide which features, like Gemini for Android Studio, App Quality Insights, and Android Device Streaming are able to access the required Google services using your Google account. Android device streaming powered by Firebase lets you securely connect to remote physical Android devices hosted in Google secure data centers. It's the fastest and easiest way to test your app against physical units of some of the latest Android devices, including the Google Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, Pixel Fold, select Samsung devices, and more. After connecting to a device, you can deploy your app, view the display, interact with the device, including rotating or unfolding the device, and anything else you might do with the device over a direct ADB over SSL connection, all without leaving Android Studio. When you're done using the device, Google wipes all your data and factory resets the device before making it available to another developer. Android device streaming is currently available for you to try at a no-cost trial after you sign in to Android Studio with your Google account and select a Firebase project to use. If you don't already have a Firebase project, it's easy to create one. We've also listened to your feedback and make analyzing crashes easier than ever with App Quality Insights Firebase Crash Analytics reports in Jellyfish. You can now explore multiple events within a Crash Analytics report in reverse chronological order, revealing patterns for faster debugging. You can also view custom key value and logs for each crash report. And finally, we also added the ability to access and investigate ANRs directly within both the Android Vitals and Crash Analytics tabs. In Android Studio Jellyfish, Layout Inspector is embedded by default in the running device tool window. This integration delivers significant performance gains, saves screen real estate, and centralizes your workflow in a single tool window. Toggle between deep inspection and interaction with your app and use snapshots for 3D visualizations of your UI. App Link Assistants now support web association file validation. This new feature streamlines deep linking by helping you identify and fix errors in your deep link setup both in your NJ manifest and the corresponding JSON file. It also ensures a seamless user experience by validating that your JSON file is correctly formatted for upload to your domain. 
baseline profiles improve code execution speed by about 30% from the first launch by avoiding interpretation and just-in-time compilation steps for included code paths. Ender Studio Jellyfish automatically installs baseline profiles alongside non-debug builds so that the performance you see from Studio install matches production by taking advantage of profiles from a baseline profile generator module or libraries like Compose. And that's a wrap on all the exciting new updates available to you in Android Studio Jellyfish. I'm sure many of you have started download during this video. If you haven't, now is the time for you to download the latest version and incorporate these new features into your workflow. The download link is in the description below. As always, we appreciate any feedback on things you like, any bugs you discover, or any new features you would like to see in the future version of Android Studio. See you next time. <laughs>